This place is heavily guarded. and get the message. If I could steal the letter without killing the emissary, it would keep me out of trouble. Where's that damn sane? King Adelford's orders, rest circle close pipe, Adelford Rex of the West My Saxons, head. appoint My and fed him as the yield arm of the territory of Saint. May he serve me, his God, and his oh. lands well. Alfred's chosen elderman is a thane called Tetmund. The abbot Cunebert will want to know. I should meet Bassam and the abbot in Falkenstern. World. Inventory. Carolyn G. Skill. Fate, let the fate guide your path. All your unspent skill points will be assigned. Everything can be reassigned anytime. Auto assign points locked.
Soldiers, spread out! We have this! Report to sign bird. Report to sign Burr. Report to sign Burr. <laughs> Report to sign Burr. the risk of my immortal soul. Ah, your god is rather a hard taskmaster. And your god forbids the mixing of wool and linen. Eivor, you have news? Kent's new elderman will be Thane Tedmund. Tedmund? Oh, the lord is testing me. He is made mouse by you Danes. Barely leaves his fortress at Rusister. How might I gain his influence if he will not speak to me? Or to anyone? It is a puzzle. To inspire loyalty, Tetman must owe you something. Such as his life. Go on. A fortress stormed. A man kidnapped. If you beat back his enemy, saved him from sure death, his gratitude would... Swell. It would know no bounds. But that fortress will be harder to pry open than a nun's knees. 
Perhaps, perhaps not. What do you know, Cassian? We could kidnap some- Cassian, any family we could hold for ransom. You could swoop in, rescue them, play the hero. There's nobody in this world that Tedmund cares more for than Tedmund. I could think on it, but we haven't much time. There's another way. Much easier. Are you hiding something, Bathen? There is a lumber mill nearby, correct? Bemisfield. Alfred invests much in fortifying Wessex. Tedmund is there. Impossible! How do you know? I heard rumors that Tedmund had been lured out of self-exile to manage work on the fortifications of Canterbury. Taking him from a lumber yard is less dangerous than assaulting a fortress. But your rescue attempt will not have the same flair. Is it... It may still work. And Fulke? When I have Tedman's fealty, you shall have Fulke. Now go. I do a roaring trade at Recover and Chunbridge. They pay well for my catch. The monks? Do those parts of the Christians ever repeat? Don't you no, believe in Jesus? They refrain because he got... I'm wary of this abbot, Bethan. He is self-serving and evasive. Can he really deliver Fulke? The abbot is a friend of Fulke's. That is clear. So long as he doesn't suspect our motive, we may have a chance. Indeed. This brings to mind a story. Perhaps you've heard of it. The Scorpion and the Frog. A children's story? A cautionary tale. The Scorpion wants to cross the river, but he cannot swim. So he enlists the help of the Frog. The frog agrees to carry him on his back, extracting a promise that the scorpion will not sting him. Let me guess. The scorpion reneges, blaming his nature, and both drown. The scorpion crosses the river and stings an innocent man, killing him. So what does this tale tell us? That your stories are clouded and their meaning doubly so? It shows that every tale has a thousand possible outcomes, many of which are surprising. If the abbot does not deliver Fulke, he will die at my hand. And we will continue our search. A sobering approach. Hey, Bob. Take look. <laughs> Venusville is just ahead. Lead. I will follow. Be my eyes, Sunan. I hope this chase will catch us a plump hen. Once the abbot has Tedman's gratitude, he will deliver Fulke. It will cost us nothing more than this. If that leaden wit keeps his word. Best raise my hood here. You prefer to work in the shadows. Get back to work! Time is coin and you're spending mine! Do you dare to question the order of the great man I will say it! No! No!
and can have ten men. Stop caterwauling and you'll live. Live? Oh, saints, protect me! Silence will save you, Tedmund. Silence, not your saints. <laughs> Flee, my friend. We have the man we came for. Does this venture not set your blood ablaze? You don't prefer working in the shadows? And so we have. To steal a man, take him with swiftness, and escape without anyone on our heels? We hide in plain sight. Such is our way but only until the moment of success, the final strike. I prefer to act and speak plain. Kings and lords who do not are often misunderstood. Yet, as a leader yourself, you cannot deny that subtlety and intrigue are a cloak you must wear. How many of your clan know the true circumstances of Sigurd's absence? Hmm. Silence is not always a lie. It can feel like one. You truly embrace the concept of hiding in plain sight, eh? To its very fullest. As I do in everything.
Greetings. In the name of Alfred, King of Wessex, I demand you release his royal subject <gasps> into my care. Come no closer, Christian, else your man dies by my blade. Please, I I'm not the man you want. Keep your eye on this one. He'll be worth a hefty bounty. Any false moves and I will snip your heels. We have your man. Now let's finish this shadow play and be gone. Are you sure that's Tedmund? He's dressed as a lord, but that man is shorter and fatter than I recall. I'm not Tedmund. I, I, I'm not. I, I swear upon the holy rood. I, I am not Thane Tedmund. What in heaven's name is happening here? Who are you? Speak quickly, or I will slit your throat and leave you for the crows. Shergar! Uh, I'm called Shergar. Lord Tedman pays me a measly coin to serve as his double. Brother Shergar? You are far from Augustine's priory. Uh, I left the cloisters many moons ago, Your Holiness. The monastic. You will get us to Tedman. We can use you yet, Shergar. Some Tedman has no care for me or what I have to say. My orders come by letter, never by mouth. I hardly know the man. You have no use to us then. Perhaps I should just. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Oh, Danes! To, to storm the walls, you need Danes. I, acting as Tedmund, I ordered a band of. If another band of Danes wants to join us. If the Saxons. I, I am still Tedmund, the men in the field. I could speak with their captain. Send. It's a fearless plan. The Nordnia knit winding abbot. Stay alert. And this fool? Pina. We will take him with us. Do what Do what you want with him. I won't risk calm, Brother Shergar. And that an army of Danes. Let us hope. It is best to snare a wasp with honey. Have you ever considered more subtlety? I leave manipulation to you, Basim. You appear to see it as an art. It is both art and science to bend a man to your will. And harder still.